hi everyone in this video we will gonna see how we can migrate the data from sql server 2000 to uh, azure sql db so uh, the project is um, uh, we have a data and we, we have a database actually uh, the, you can see this is a sql server 2000 uh, instance and if i show you the version uh, let me quickly show you which version it is so uh, you can quickly see this is uh, Microsoft SQL Server 2000 8.0.2039. Okay, and I have successfully installed SQL Server 2000 on my uh, Windows 10 machine, and uh, it, Windows is not more supporting this SQL Server 2000 anymore now because it had been depreciated uh, by the window. But uh, I mean earlier back uh, in you know uh, when you were work with Windows XP or Windows 7. Uh, maybe Vista uh, it will work smoothly not a problem but with Windows 10 it is no more supported however there are some uh, modern packages like service pack 4 SP4 for SQL Server and uh, there are other uh, ways to install SQL Server 2000 on a uh, machine you can you can explore that later but uh, in this video we're gonna see how we can transfer the data from uh, SQL Server 2000 to Azure uh, SQL DB so this is my SQL Server 2000 instance and also let me show you my uh, Azure DB instance so uh, on Azure I have set up a database which is called demo SQL 2000 migration and uh, if you see uh, if I just refresh this uh, one second uh, if I just refresh this and click on tables you see there is no tables available here uh, it is taking some time um, yeah so see there is no table available here so what we're gonna do we're gonna transfer the data from uh, SQL Server 2000 and uh, let me show you we have what tables we have so in uh, here we have SQL Server 2000 migration demo. We have these tables like agent, customer, a new table, orders, test for migration. These tables will be transferred. So let me show you that uh, what data we have in this table. So this table already, oh, sorry, one second. So this table already has some data. So one second, let me select the database. Yeah, so these tables already have some data in it. If you see like this uh, in agent table and similarly for the customer table, you see we have the data and if you want to see for orders table so we already have some data so yeah so these data will be directly transferred to uh, SQL Azure how we'll do that let let's try so there are two things which I want to say uh, first thing this is called a SQL query analyzer where we actually write the query but the migration will happen in enterprise manager not in SQL so back in 2000 uh, there was uh, I mean uh, now nowadays you see SQL have a single instance where everything is into a single uh, SQL server client which is called SSMS SQL server management system but back in 2000 they were separate so one thing called enterprise manager this is the enterprise manager and second thing is query analyzer query analyzer is just for writing the queries on top of your tables and databases and query analyzer enterprise manager is for doing all sort of input output operations and other operations as well so um, you see these uh, this database is same uh, sql server 2000 migration demo and also here sql server 2000 migration demo and if i go to this database and click on tables you see these many tables so we are only interested in the type user table you know agent customer new order and test for migration so only these five tables these five user tables will be transferred for this migration purpose okay uh, so how we will do that we will just go to the database right click go to all task and click on export data uh, once you have clicked on export data a uh, wizard will open it's called data transformation wizard uh, it's called dts uh, nowadays you might be familiar with the etl operation but back in 2000 it was called dts and i think nearly about 2005 or 2006 this the whole terminology got changed from DTS to ETL so yeah I mean DTS is a uh, entire package where uh, not a package I would say DTS is an entire uh, um, a program where you can actually import and export the data in and out of SQL Server 2000 okay and it is an uh, as, uh, right now we what we know about SSIS as an ETL uh, tool this is the same thing which DTS was doing at that point of time in 2000 okay now we click next now at the first it will ask for the data source from where the data has to be picked up so this is all sql server 2000 from we, where we will pick the data from the tables so you see the server is local uh, because it is installed on my local machine and the windows authentication is yes and if i go to the databases i'll select this database okay and i click next now this is where it is asking for uh, the um, um, destination uh, uh, server so destination server because we have to migrate the data to Azure SQL uh, DB so destination is Azure so what we're gonna do we're gonna um, take the data from there uh, 
and uh, let me uh, uh, look at the server name sql server names so if i go back let me go back to my uh, database one second uh, this is my sql server instance and in the sql server instance you see this uh, uh, there is a database called demo sql migration and in the demo sql migration there is a server name let me copy the server name and uh, yeah it is here let me copy the server name and put it here so this server name basically will be used to uh, transfer the data so uh, i'll just add the server name here and then i will use sql server authentication so i will go to my query editor i'll go the login details copy and uh, username and let me pass the password so once i pass the user server name username and password it will automatically detect my say uh, you know database so you see demo sql server to turn migration and uh, now i click next okay so now there are three options copy table of views you can copy entire table of views or if you want to do incremental changes or specific data needs to be added into destination you can use the sql query or you can copy the objects like you know functions and triggers and everything uh using sql server uh, between sql servers also okay now i click next and now here you see all the user type data, data table are available uh, so i'll click all the tables need to be transferred you can also see the preview for example for the agent table you can see the preview here okay and i click next in the next there are multiple options where you can run immediately will which we're going to do right now but you can also uh, schedule the package uh, at a particular time uh, uh, daily weekly or monthly and you can give the time and duration also okay we'll not going to do that and we will not save the package for now and we'll run it immediately okay next and now we will click finish now what will happen is like everything is configured now it will start transferring the data as you can see and the data will be uh, yeah now successfully copied five tables to micro sql server which is sql server 2000 to micro sql server which is azure sql db okay okay done now let's close it let's go back to our sql uh, let's log in now and uh, let's see if we have the tables available or not okay so i'll just click refresh and hit the table see now all the tables are available okay and if i want to see do we have the data from agents and yeah we got all the data so the migration is now successful okay so in customers also you see we have the data in orders also we have the yes data we have the data test migration yes and uh, for the new table as well yes uh, the migration is successful now so this is this is uh, how you can migrate the data from sql server 2000 to uh, azure sql db and that's it for this video i hope uh, 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 you liked it and in case if you have any further questions uh, let me know okay thank you